After digitizing a design and stitching a test sew out, you may find that you want to adjust the density of a fill stitch. There are different ways to do this in the software. Note the stitch count that is given in the status bar. The default stitch spacing of a filled object is 0.45 millimeters. This is found in Object Properties. If I double click on an object, it will open Object Properties. The stitch spacing is what determines the density. To decrease the density, the value must be changed to a higher number because it is measuring the distance between rows of stitching that stitch in the same direction. If you want to change only certain elements of the design, it is best to make these changes in Object Properties. First, select the object or objects you wish to change, then change the value of the stitch spacing. In this case, I'm going to change it to a higher number, and I'll click Apply. Notice the effect on the stitch count. If you wish to change the density of the entire design, you can also do it in this way. Or if you want to change the density of the different objects to different amounts, say for this one, select the second object and let's change this to 0.55 and apply and then select the largest object and let's change that to 0 0.50 and apply. Another way to change the density of the entire design is to select the design and go to the edit menu and select adjust stitch spacing. You can change the percentage and then click OK. Increasing the percentage of the stitch spacing will decrease the density while decreasing the stitch spacing will increase the density. Sometimes just a 5 to 10% change will be enough to make the design stitch better for the fabric and thread combination you are using. This second method may be your only choice for a design that is not pure art.